so as promised, I'm making a vlog, and I ha have in my hands the first letter that I ever wrote to Ellen, ever! And it actually is the first one because it's a rough draft of the one that I actually sent. And I only saved like 12 rough copies, and I was like, ugh, bump this noise, I'm not <laughs> doing rough copies anymore, I'm just gonna start freehanding them and scratch out little mistakes, and when I make a big mistake, I'll just write the whole page over again. I only have 12 copies of my 366 letters. So, in honor of Throwback Thursday, and as promised on my blog, I'm going to read the letter. I haven't read this prior to this making this video, so it could be very embarrassing, and I'm prepared for that. Tuesday, February 14th, 2012. Hey Ellen, it's Valentine's Day. I hope you and Portia had a great one. I had my single friends over tonight and we all watched The Notebook and cried our eyes out. Isn't Ryan Gosling such a god? Yum. I don't know why Ellen care about that, but... So, watching The Notebook gave me this idea. I will write you one letter every day for a year in hopes that you will one day read at least one of them so you know how much I admire you. What you do every day inspires me to learn and grow and to try to make life around me sparkle as much as you do. Good line, Alyssa. This might sound a little creepy since I know so much about you, but you know so little about me. So here's a little recap of myself. And then I went on to say who I was and where my high school was and where my hometown is and it's blah blah blah. My friends say I'm crazy, wild, enthusiastic, and optimistic about life. My dream is to meet you one day. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I used to be. Uh, my favorite color is pink. I have a bucket. Oh, now it's purple. Actually, that's funny. I have a bucket list of 35 items to cross off. Now it's like 77. I like to ski. I love my mama. And my favorite TV show is The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Those things are all still the same. Speaking of your show, I love watching Sophia Grace and Rosie at the Grammys today. They are so adorable. Sophia Grace is a wild one. She reminds me of myself. Well, I don't want you to get bored reading about my life. So I'll talk to you later, Ellen. Keep on smiling and dancing. Love, Alyssa. Valentine's Day. Isn't that cute? I'm adorable. And then there were 366 letters similar to this. I like it. I think I did a good job. It's short and simple, to the point, gives Ellen some background, also shows a little bit of my personality. It's funny to, to have a throwback and see how much your life's changed. Like, I don't really like Taylor Swift that much anymore. Whoa! Other things have changed. So if you've been reading the blog, you'll know that I have a vlog coming up in which I'm going to collaborate with my good friend Pita. She's in Australia, and we're going to do a little bit of a lot of things for my channel and for her channel, so stay tuned for that. There will be more vlogs coming, and if you haven't checked... No, there will be more vlogs coming, and if you haven't checked the blog, you can do that too. I know it's confusing, vlog and blog, but stay with me, please. So there you go, Ellen, a little throwback to over two years ago where I first began this mission. So keep on smiling and dancing, bye.